Welcome to Greenlight for Girls Science, you had me at hello. Joining you all today will be Sandesh, Gulzad, and me, Carl. We are spending the summer as interns working with CDK Global, a tech company that helps car dealerships and their customers by improving every interaction. To do this, one of the things they focus on is data processing. Now you might think this topic is way beyond your understanding, but it's a lot simpler than it sounds. So first of all, what is data? Well, data is basically a piece of information about any subject. The color of your hair, the number of oranges you have in your pantry, or the type of music you listen to. One kind of data that CDK mainly deals with is vehicle data. Some of the data that we can extract from a vehicle could be its color, year, make, or model. Data processing is about taking these pieces of information, arranging and storing them in something called a database, and then presenting it to a user in a way that makes sense. Now there can be hundreds of thousands of pieces of data to store, and searching through all of it to find what you're looking for can be difficult. This is where queries come into play. A query is basically a question you ask the database if you want to find something. For example, my car is a green 2014 Toyota RAV4. If I wanted to find my car in a database, I could use some or all of that information to ask the question, can you give me any vehicle with a green color and made in 2014? The database would give me a list of all the cars that match that information. Now there were a lot of green cars made in 2014, and this question may not narrow the search down as much as I want it to. So I could add more information to the question to get a more precise list from the database. Can you give me any vehicle with a green color made in 2014 and is a Toyota RAV4? This question will give a more precise answer from the database. To help you better understand the role of a database and the relationship it has with the user, we have created a simple game for you to play. In this game, there are two roles, the user and the database. The user has to come up with a set of queries and a data set. Once the user has done that, they give the data set to the databases. The people playing as the databases will then need to store that information and prepare for the queries. The number of queries the user has will determine the number of rounds. So for each round, the user asks one query. Each time a database correctly matches an item with a query, they get one point. Whoever has the most points wins. We will show you a couple of examples on how we played the game. That would have been, that would have been bad. Um, okay, so here's your, here's your data set. Brazil, France, Russia, Australia, and Japan. The first question, can you give me all the countries that have the colors red and white and blue in their flag? France and Russia. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, they have almost... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you just kind of rotate the... Rotate them. Rotate the flag. Uh, okay. Can you give me all the countries that are in the Eastern Hemisphere? Eastern what? Hemis Eastern Hemisphere. The Eastern part of the world. Um, Russia, Japan and Russia. Japan and Australia. Number three. Can you give me all the countries that have Spanish as their national language? Brazil. Yeah. No, it's not, right? It's not Brazil. Brazil is Portuguese. <gasps> so it's none. The answer is none. None. Uh, none. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me all the countries that are both in Asia and Europe? Russia. So this country. Yeah, this is great. Can you? Okay, this one's, this one's a hard one. This was hard. So I will forgive you if uh, you don't get this right, but can you give me all the countries that CDK Global has an office in? I think, I also think it's just Brazil. It's just Brazil? How about you, how about you Brazil? You're yeah, free to guess. Just Brazil? They have none in Brazil. They have um, one in France and one in Japan. In Japan too? Yeah, they have uh, one in Japan. And they have, they have one in France. So. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's so, do this. <laughs> kind of worried. <laughs> so, 
So here is a mixed data about America. So oh my god. <laughs> um, oh. oh, you got to wait. So here is the first question. Okay. So what is the uh, give me the name of the state of US which was in the data. Okay, give you all the states. states. Uh, yes. Georgia, Florida, California, yes. uh, Washington, okay. D.C. is a state. No, Washington, D.C. is the state. Yeah. Well, Washington is just a state, but Washington, okay, D.C. Okay, okay. Florida, oh, no. California, and Georgia. She already said it. She said it before I even get a chance to talk to you. Yeah, so... <laughs> Goza won the first round. You see? So, I have mentioned some of the capital city of the state in the data. Mm -hmm. So, what are the name of those cities? Tallahassee, Tallahassee Georgia. Tallahassee is a. Uh, okay. So I'm not I'm sure about how, Sacramento. I'm just saying Tallahassee. How do you? Okay, Gul'dan okay. says Tallahassee. I say. Uh, I said but, Georgia technically. But. So, I have mentioned the capital city of U.S. What is the name of the city? Washington. So good one with another points. So so now moving on to the next question. There were two holidays mentioned in the data. What were those? Two what? Veterans Day, Independence Day. You are correct. Oh. So here are the final scores from the two games that we played and Gulzan absolutely crushed us, even winning by a super large margin in the first game. And that's it. Breaking down complicated topics into simple basic facts is a great way to start off when learning something new. Just like how data processing is basically just arranging data and then asking for them later. We had a ton of fun making this video, we hope you enjoyed watching it. And thank you for watching this episode of Science, You Had Me At Hello.